Uh, Re Aaron Swartz, that was murder by suicide. Lessig was very clear his depression was situational and not biological. He had used up all his wealth, and his parents were about to mortgage their house for attorney fees. This is just disgusting to me, especially since they were warned about his emotional state. So let him go to, oh, yeah. Yeah, this is, um, this is uh, the other part of the story that is, you know, becoming clear is that Swartz had uh, basically dried out most of his cash from a Reddit, hiring multiple lawyers to deal with this. Uh, I hadn't heard about ha his parents having to mortgage his house. There was talk of him trying to raise money in the community, which he would have been able to do, but there was a fear that this would um, uh, upset the judge in the case, who had a tremendous amount of discretion. So there was... The calculation was you got to go through this trial and just hope it works out because there, there's big prosecutorial overreach here. It turns out that the prosecutor, Stephen Heyman, assistant U United States attorney, who was part of this prosecution, um, who was completely unwilling to compromise they had apparently come very close to deals. MIT supposedly uh, prevented one of the uh, deals that would allow him just to have probation and, um, to go through. Apparently, back in tw uh, 2008, Jonathan James killed himself after being named a suspect in another case prosecuted by Stephen Heyman. He was the first juvenile to be put into con confinement for a federal cybercrime case. He was found two, uh, dead two weeks after the Secret Service raided his house as part of an investigation of the TJX hacker case led by Heyman. In his suicide note, James wrote that he was killing himself in response to the federal investigation and their attempts to tie him to a crime which he did not commit. I have no faith in the justice system. Perhaps my actions today in this letter will send a stronger message to the public. Either way, I've lost control of the situation, and this is my only way to regain control. Remember, he wrote, it's not whether you win or lose, it's whether I win or lose. And sitting in a jail for 20, 10, or even five years for a crime I didn't commit for me is not winning. I die free. Heyman received the Attorney General's Award for Distinguished Service for directing the largest and most successful identity theft hacking investigation prosecution ever conducted by the United States. So this guy um, obviously was rewarded for this type of stuff. Kevin Cullen in the Globe um, writes, the argument about whether prosecutors should have been insisting that Swartz, who had written openly and movingly about his struggle with depression, serve at least six months in prison, is not an academic question. It is a question about proportionality and humanity. And on both fronts, the office of the U.S. Attorney, Carmen Ortiz, and the prosecutors who handled our, uh, this case, Steve Heyman and Scott Garland, failed miserably. Andy Goods, Andy Good, Swartz's initial lawyer, is alternative, uh, alternately sad and furious. The thing that galls me is I told Heyman the kid was a suicide risk. His reaction was a standard reaction in that office, not unique to Steve. He said, fine, we'll lock him up. I'm not saying they made Aaron kill himself. Aaron might have done this anyway. I'm saying they were aware of the risk and they were heedless. Swartz and his lawyers were not looking for a free pass. They had offered to accept a deferred prosecution or probation. So the Swartz pulled a stunt like that again, he would end up in prison. Marty Weinberg, who took the case over from Good, said he nearly negotiated a plea bargain in which Swartz would not serve any time. He said JSTOR signed off on it but MIT would not. I mean, this is clearly an attempt to send a message to a community using this one individual who did nothing to really create any real harm. Uh, simply broke the terms of usage that MIT imposed on people who used its Wi-Fi trespassed in a uh, closet, which apparently those charges were not even uh, filed or maintained. Using him as an example so that the government could show their capacity to destroy someone's life.
And they succeeded. They succeeded. Their plan may not have been to, uh, to force Aaron to commit suicide, but their plan was clearly to destroy his life and send a message, and they succeeded.